Good morning, folks. Heard my first thunder snow this morning as it was coming down sideways in Albuquerque and the land was turning white. That's the story for much of the rest of the country as well. We'll run down a number of items today, but begin as always over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out a very calm last 24 hours on our star. Couple dark coronal holes, one incoming and one heading out of view towards the far side. While there were no Earth-directed eruptions, the plasma filaments around the limbs, especially the western limb at the right, waited until they got away from Earth to come alive. Despite there being a couple magnetic areas on the solar surface facing Earth, you see them on the north there, they are just not strong enough, and they have produced no sunspots. It is a blank disk, which leads into the continued flatline of solar flaring. Nothing there. Solar wind is another story, though. Yesterday, the speed jumped up over 800 kilometers per second and settled in the 700 range. While extended instability is all we have on a global scale, the localized detections indicate the storm conditions could have been much worse at Karuna. Eyes on that today. We're remembering Robert Goddard. Nice little piece on him and the start of rocketry. Like many revolutionaries, he was misunderstood and ridiculed. But to make a great story for people in the alternative community, he was vindicated. In this case, in a retraction from the New York Times, who had said he lacked even the understanding of high school science. Up next, it's the U.S. West Coast, and eyes open, folks, this atmospheric river event hasn't rung out just yet. The Pacific low there will drive at the coastline, bringing major rainfall to the area, and doing so with an earth spot companion to his southwest. That one swings in directly after the first one. Time stamps below show we're looking at an entire week still to come of this weather, with only brief breaks in between the low-pressure convergence zones. Website members, you've got a new deeper look out yesterday breaking down the atmospheric and subterranean blot echo signals that led to the Fijian earthquake hitting one of our red alert zones. And after that, a new members page called Blot Echoes has been posted for some background. That's at suspiciousobservers.org slash blot. The full earthquake forecasting model will be presented with examples at Observing the Frontier 2017. We also have professors and top scientists, hangouts with the speakers, some of the big names in the community, and hopefully by the end, everyone in attendance will be able to predict earthquakes. Learn more and come see us in April. Website members, check out that new deeper look in the blot page as well. Of course, the vast majority of information we've put out there is free for anyone. Don't skip on using your resources. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.